So, this is an attempt at a car vlog. I really need to get some tape or something to make it stay, but okay, as long as we're not driving crazy, it should be fine. So, you might ask, where are we going? Good question. Don't pay attention to my double chin either, okay? I know. <laughs> this angle makes me look really fat. But I thought it would be fun to do some kind of like car vlog. I've been wanting to do something of this matter for a long time, but just, it never worked out because it was really, really hard to get my camera at a good angle. But now that I have this Joby, like, is it Joby? Joby? I don't know. To like hold my camera up, it works. But there's still like nothing to like rasp onto so the best bet would be to like tape it to the dashboard because I'm just a piece of shit. Oh, got a break. So I don't usually drive in vlogs and this is a little bit weird and a little bit nerve-wracking. So we have a couple places that we're going to though. We're gonna go try and pick up some, some doggy seat belts because I have been in the need of some doggy fucking seat belts. My dogs are fucking crazy in the car. Like, they are nuts. They make my car a mess and when I bring them to the dog park, this is not an exaggeration, this is dead ass guys, they get so hyper that they pull me out of the car. Like, I'm serious. I am on the ground being dragged by my dogs. I have huskies. They're so strong. I know I'm a piece of shit. They're not perfectly trained, but still love them to death. But yes, they fucking drag me out of the car. And it's so embarrassing because like all the old people are just staring at me like with their very well-trained older dogs. And I'm here with two puppies. Well, Damon's a year old, but still puppy to me. And just getting dragged out of my car. No big deal. So I feel like if they have seatbelts, they can't just, you know, drag me out of the fucking car. And my biggest concern is just, like, that they're, like, if I let them, like, I, if I open the car door and just let them go, chances are they might run away or, you know, it's just, it's dangerous. So, you know, I hold on for dear life while I get dragged out of the car. It's really shitty. So I'm hoping that I can find some kind of, like, doggy seatbelt. Oh, I hate, okay. Let's go. Move along, please. Okay, dude, no, fuck you. I'm not letting you go. Two people just went ahead of me. You can fucking wait. Burning and shit. I really hope I don't have like an ultra, like, double chin going because different angles bring out different double chins. So don't judge me, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm not super skinny. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go in the store real quick, get some doggy seatbelts, hopefully, and I'll be right back. We're on our way to Chick-fil-A. I feel like people are like extra nosy when I have a camera in my car. Like when I, when I got in my car just a second ago, the fucking guy that's like taking in the carts and the grocery store is just like staring at me, like just looking at me, just you know, curious as to why I'm recording. Like mind, mind your own business. Just don't look at me, please. <laughs> Gonna be a nice relaxing ride from here. I'm gonna pay attention to the road because that's what I'm supposed to do as a Floridian citizen, driver's license person. I don't know. I honestly shouldn't have my license. Well, I should now, but when I got it, I shouldn't have had it, honestly, 100%. I've told this story before, but I might as well tell it since I'm driving and a lot of you guys are honestly. Here's the fucking fly! Get! What the? A lot of you guys are honestly new, so I might as well tell you. So. When I took my driver's test, when you get your permit here in Florida, you're supposed to do like 40 hours of like driving with your parent in the car. I didn't do that. I hated my mom's car. She drove like a huge SUV, so I would never really like drive her car and she had like a lot of problems with it. So I just was like, fuck that, I'm not gonna drive in general. Oh, you're taking a little shortcut, are you? A little Solera? <laughs> Bye. Um, but, God fuck it, get out of here. Get Get out of here, fly. Go. Oh. You're still in here? I'm gonna leave it open a little bit so you can get out. Anyways, continuing. So, uh, we decided, my mom and I decided one day, you know, let's just go get you your license. So that's exactly what we did. We just, you know, drove to where you can get your license, do your test, and that's what we did. 
and I had only practiced that hour before the test and I had super anxiety like I have anxiety really really bad like I've I've done some like modeling and acting type things and I've literally cried on stage in front of like 500 people if you want to hear about that story the next car ride let me know because I can tell that story we could make this a little thing where we go on rides and I tell you stories and hopefully I don't get in a car accident um that's gonna be the ultimate thing okay in the end yep all right god fuck it's so bright so anyways, during the entire, like, I don't remember it thoroughly anymore because it's been like, I don't know, like four years, but uh, I just remember, like, I, you have to do, like, you have to speed up to, like, 30 miles per hour and then they scream at you and tell you to stop. It's basically like a thing where if there's an emergency, you have to be able to hit your brake immediately. So, um, yeah, I, I missed the fucking brake. He screamed stop and I missed the brake. I didn't hit it with my foot. So then, um, since I missed it, I had an ultimate panic attack and I was just telling him, like, fail me. I turned off my car. What was my mom's car? I turned off the car. I told him to fail me. I said, I, just don't give me my license. I already know I failed. Just take me back. And he was like, you need to listen to me. Listen to me. He was like screaming at me, getting hella antsy. I don't blame him. I mean, I was not listening. And he was like, turn the car on. I don't know. Some shit like that. And uh, yeah, I, I do not know how I passed. Oh, wait, I do because I'm a girl and he felt bad for me. Sorry, sisters. But if you think that girls don't have privileges, you're wrong. <laughs> Literally, I've gotten away with so many things. Like, here's an example. I was playing H1Z1 the other day on stream. In H1Z1, you literally fight each other to be last alive. The last person standing wins. I literally spoke and just was messing with the guy. And guess what? He let me live. And you can get banned on H1 for letting people live. That's called teaming. He literally let me live because I'm a girl. He wouldn't do that for a guy. It's true, I'm sorry, but it's true. Like, face the facts, girls do get special privileges sometimes, and it's just the way that it is. Unfortunately, it's fucked up, but it does happen, so don't don't bullshit me, ladies, come on. Don't act like you've never had a special privilege in your life, because I have, and I'm admitting it right now, two times, right right then. Another privilege. You, it's a privilege a lot of times to join, I don't know if the privilege is the right word, but to join the gaming community and be a girl, you don't have to be that fucking good. Back then, I was really good at sniping, but guys, what am I good at now? Pfft, nothing. Fucking nothing. I'm not good. If I, like, played Call of Duty all day, I'd be good, but CSGO, I'll never be as good as, like, the pros. Overwatch, I'll never be as good as the pros. League, I'll never be as good as the pros. I enjoy games, but do I, am I better than a lot of the guys that deserve some shine for being as good as they are? I forget what I just said, but it made sense. I know it made sense. But I'm just saying that definitely girls have it easier in some spots than we think. And I'm just... I know I'm probably going to piss a lot of women off with this, but good thing the majority of you guys, I mean, I think it's like, what, 98% of you guys, you're 96% of you guys are guys, so, <laughs> yeah, that was so fucking cringe, but it just came to mind, so I'm sorry. I'm also speeding, so let's not get a speeding ticket. Looks like the people behind me are falling way behind. Well, hello, man. You look like Albert Einstein. He literally looked like Albert Einstein. My car really, really, really needs to be cleaned. Also, I got these seat belts, but you know what? I don't even think they're gonna freaking work properly. I think my dogs are still gonna be able to move like crazy. Cause you know what? I Googled it or I YouTubed it to look up like how they work. You know, people make those like tutorials or whatever. And all of them were like, you can buy the adjustable seat belt thing where you can make it tighter or looser. Like, bitch. What? Like, I already just paid $20 per fucking seatbelt harness, and you're asking me to buy your accessory. Like, fuck out of here. Literally, like, I spend more money on my fucking dogs than I spend on myself. Honestly, I don't remember the last time that I spent as much money on myself than I do on my dogs. They get special food, they get special toys, they get special everything. It's bullshit. And when I buy them dollar store toys, they break them in a freaking second. It's just like, fuck, fuck. I hate when people pull out slow in front of me. Like, step on it, motherfucker. I can't wait to eat Chick-fil-A. Shout out to you, Neuros. Shout out to you. I feel like I am seriously, like, squinting my eyes so hard. Like, I must be squinting my eyes so hard. It's so bright outside, and I'm legally supposed to wear glasses, so I can't wear sunglasses. Oh, I can see what's happening, and they don't have a clue. We'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. 
I hate The Lion King. It's such a shitty fucking movie. I hate it. I don't even know why that song was in my head. But like, The Lion King, like, you suck ass. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you're not good. You suck. It's boring. It bores me to sleep. I don't like it. Hate me. I don't care. You know, I found out the other day that my cousin makes YouTube videos, and that's totally cool. It's awesome. I find it really cool. A lot of my family actually is into video games more than I really expected. Like, I knew my cousins were, like, nerds like me, but, like, he's he's just as nerdy as I am. It's crazy. I'll link him in the description if you want to check him out. He, uh, he doesn't really play, like, Call of Duty and stuff, but he does, like, vlogs, and so he's cool. He's a cool kid. Um, well, he's not a kid. He's, like, a year older than me, but... It's just crazy how a lot of my family, you know, his dream is to be a YouTuber and a lot of you guys' dreams are to be a YouTuber and it's like weird to me because I guess I don't really see like how lucky I am. Like I, I seeing him like and how he wants to be a YouTuber made me realize like how fucking lucky I am. Like thank you guys. Thank you for providing the, this. Like you are the reason. Like I, God, what? Like what? I'm a YouTuber? Like what the fuck? Like, what is that? Like I'm a YouTuber? Like people watch me online? What? Like. It's crazy to think that even like a thousand people, even like a hundred people could see your video. Like that's trippy as hell. Like I don't even like know a hundred people. Like I literally know like nobody. So I don't understand. Please buddy, you're a huge ass truck. Dude, I hate turning in when you have a fucking huge truck. God, I must fucking hit him. I haven't eaten today. Eaten. Eaten. Oh my god. <laughs> Curse me. Don't judge me for my order. Like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that I'm fat. I don't want to hear it. Don't talk about my resolution. Don't bring it up. I don't want to hear it. Like, I just... Don't remind me, okay? This is, uh... It's Chick-fil-A. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's more healthy than your average fast food place, so... Yeah, it's really still one million calories, but... <laughs> Who's counting, right? Not me. Any sauce or anything? I'm um, Chick-fil-A sauce, please. Uh, for you. Oh, thank you. And there you are. Have a great day. You thank, too, you. thank you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You know, if you go to McDonald's, you know what they say to you? Do you want sauce? They roll their eyes, give you an attitude. They take five million years to bring your food out to you. They're fucking rude. They fuck up your order. And they give you an attitude. You know what you get at Chick-fil-A? It's a pleasure. Okay, bitch, you had a stop sign. Fuck out of here with that. Uh-uh. just want to let you guys know that I'm actually going to end the video here because I've already gotten like tons of footage and honestly like looking back on that drive I don't even remember like the drive there like I remember what we talked about but I don't remember like driving so I think I need to pay a little bit more attention on the way to the PO box because I have to get on the highway and stuff but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to leave a like follow all my social media my twitter is jewelxo my instagram is jewel underscore xox my twitch is jewelxo and my snapchat is jewel megan I'm sorry if my teeth look gross I just ate I'm a fat ass I know whatever but if you guys want to see more of these car vlogs I think they're kind of cool unique and fun to, br to bring to my channel so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed and drop a like if you did I love you guys and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Mwah.